Hello again, this is the Watering Man. This is Spiritual Toolbox number 509. This is the last one in John chapter 4, verse 36. Um, I have it already recorded on audio tape uh, on the recorder. Um, so let's kill that giant, that Goliath giant in our mind. Hit it with the, the rock, with our sling, like little David. No heavy armor of our own righteousness to weigh us down. Get that crap off. As God takes it off, God has to. You have to agree with it. Green like God. And smack that giant right between the eyes and it cut off its head. Over and over and over. Repeatedly take the identity from that self. Righteousness of our own carnal thinking. That 666 six, six nature in our forehead and in our hand, in our mind, and in our in our works, in our efforts. God's providing the opportunity to do this. Let's do it. As we kick that giant's ass, that he hauling donkey nature out of us. I'm gonna work on I'm having had a pretty rough time today. My wife's having a pretty rough time. I got it's kind of halfway under control right now, so I won't be up for a while. And I'm going to prepare some stuff to provide. God's given me some things to provide some encouragement. Let's kick that thing's ass. Here goes the final one on the, the spiritual toolbox on John 4, 6, 36. This is the Watering Man. This is Spiritual Toolbox number 509. We're continuing in John chapter 4, verse 36. Okay. And uh, we're, uh, I'm saying let's kill our own Goliath thinking. Huh? Drive out that sucker. Little by little by little, and let God occupy it. Huh? Let God be the king of your heart. Not that me, myself, and I, not that Goliath thinking, not that carnality. That's a pose that you go into towards and into God's righteousness. No, let God prevail. Let He rule as king of your mind. Israel means um, God prevails or um, he rule, he shall rule as king, right? Come from that Jacob nature, that change, wrestling all night through the, through the night, like God touched that, touch you in the hollow of his thigh, of your thigh. So you change with that day star rising over and over and over in your mind, little by little by little. So you don't walk the same way, don't live, don't exist the same way again. Coming back into the mind of Christ. Huh? God's ruling. Israel. Jacob. Coming from a Jacob nature to a name change back to Israel. He shall rule as your king in your mind. God prevails, not your old carnal mind. Okay? Drive out that squatter. <clears throat> Kill that Jacob nature. Kill that old uh, trickster. Huh? That conniver, that swindler, that thief, that robber that only kills, comes to kill, to steal, to destroy. Huh? Don't partake in its filthy mistress, stinking rags. Don't take, partake in that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Don't be a yucker. Don't eat the red way of thinking. Don't eat your red, Adamic, humanistic thinking. Vomit that stuff out. Spew it out. Ugh! Get sick with extreme disgust. Agree with your daddy God. Yes, daddy, you're the greatest. I agree with you. Let that other stuff add die, young stuff. Beat it, you daggone dog. Just beat it. Just beat it. Ow! Get out of here, man. Alright. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> Let's continue in John 4.36. I think we'll finish it this time. There's just three little words left. 
And we've covered all these words before. Six, it says, And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. Now, I'm taking you on this journey and showing you deeper, deep, deeper, deep, deep, deeper, deepest. It's in your mind. God, this is for now, now, now. So that you can green light God, green light God, green light God in the three ages in your earthly thinking. So whenever it comes harvest time, you be resurrected in Christ to a greater and greater and greater and greater, more glorious level. Get more of God, more of God's righteousness, more of God's ways of thinking, His superior way of thinking in your mind. Woohoo! Not just temporary, transitory emptiness. It's this true satisfaction of God. Not this stuff that leaves you wanting or lacking. This stuff that maybe appeases you for a little bit. This red way appeases you sometimes. Makes you think, man, I'm just the greatest facade. It's temporary at best. Not gonna last. Moving to a new city, moving outside, wherever. New car, new truck, new this, new that, new this, whatever. Blah 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 blah. Those are all temporary, huh? It's not satisfactory. Satisfactory. It's just grasping after the wind, trying to satisfy something inside of you that you don't know what it is. Well, I'm telling you. It's that ability to charm to love as God loves. God loves you beyond the mere description of words, and it was incompleted. It's child. You're coming through this circle of life so that he can, through the storms of your life, give you opportunity to increase, increase, increase by greenlighting him, and he gives the increase. When he's satisfied, and you grow, grow, grow internally, getting pearls of great price. And you're not going to get it all at once in one time, and that's enough. No, uh, you're it's so unbelievably small. You got a lot to overcome. It's a long way to the top. Oh, ho, ho. A long way to the top. Hey, hey. A long way to the top. Wanna be in the rock as Christ the Lord? It's a long way to the top, hey, 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 a long way to the top, oh, oh, a long way to the top. If you wanna be in the Christ, be in the rock. <laughs> All right, now. Get down here to this. The last three words in this verse. Alright? They translate these words, and, and then he that, and reapeth. Those come from three words, not four. Okay? Okay? But they speak a lot more. This is a picture language. And a picture it takes much more than a thousand ways. And you can look at this ball, this picture, like it's a ball out here from an infinite amount of ways. Vantage points, like that pen, like it being a vector. Look at it from this way. See in here and taste that smell? Are you trying to do it with your ego? It's not going to see nothing in there. Hmm? That ego, that it just got out, that carnality, that giant way, that Goliath way. You're only me, myself, and I. There's imaginary figures, a cherubim. It's placed by the east side of the Garden of Eden to protect the way back to the tree of life. Hmm? You can't eat from that fruit of the uh, tree, fruit from the tree of life, by trying to partake in the fruit, getting your substance, sustenance, your food, from the tree of the 
by existing from this tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you can't get there. The fleshly thinking won't get you there. You say to that, you'll reap destruction. Oh, man, this is bullshit. Right, this is some bullshit, right? Like on that show, that funny show, uh, Resident Alien. This is some bullshit, man. <laughs> right, this is worthless and detestable. This is not satisfying me, boy, I own it. Right? But by green lighting God, being in Christ, at whatever level you are, whatever level that you're existing at, exist, exist, exist in that land of Goshen, and let that spark play, let Christ bring, him, bring you more from the faith to the truth, and add that to the permanent increases in Christ, it's growing, it's overtaking, it's possessing that land, driving out those former inhabitants, burning that crap up, and transforming that energy into the mind of Christ to make that little part that's in Christ become denser, more glorious. Doxa, glorious, weighty, dense character. And you boast, I can't remember the word for that, but it's the boasting God. Not out there in the old me, myself, and I. That's bullshit, right? I've right, been teaching all this stuff. Okay, go back, look at this thing, study them, search them out. Be good, Berean. Huh? Study to show yourself approved, a worker that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing, or accurately handling the word of truth, the word of God, the thought processes of God. Come on, man, live in that, live in Christ. Don't live in that crap thing. Don't get down in the cesspool of your own carnal mind and wiping it all over your face. Say, man, I'm just some tan, I'm a Greek. That's from being close to God. Really? Is that why you stink? Why are you a master and all get up? Sure is, and you're not living closer to God. You're living closer to the me, myself, and I. A uh, yucker thinking, aren't you? Because <laughs> if you're down in that cesspool, if you're down in the bottom of a, an outhouse, Man, you're just an old yucker. <laughs> yucker, man. Ooh. Okay. Now, we're getting down to this next word. Let me go up here and read the verse. Well, that wind is picking up pretty good out there, is All right. It's raining, too. All right. And he that reapeth receiveth eight, uh, wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. Okay? Now we're down to the word all the way down here, the last, one of the last ones of this verse. The translate here in the, as and is Kai. 2532, Kai, this word. Strong T, 2532. Kai. Okay. Kai. It's both copulative and cumulative. I done, we know that to death, okay? And then the word, next word, he that, that comes from 3588, ha. Strong's G, 3588, ha. Ha. The ball thinking in your mind. And then that comes from reapeth. Theresa, Theresa, T H E R I Z O, twenty three, twenty five. This word. Strong's G, twenty three, twenty five. Theresa. All right. That's a verb. And uh, just a minute. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And that word, the same as it was earlier in this verse. And it's a verb, and it's in the sense, it's a reaping, and it's like in the sense of the crop. Huh? You, 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 you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption, you slow to the spirit, whatever this is growing, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, you're, you're reaping that. Huh? Whatever you're green lighting God and increasing in God, that's the good news that you have, that's a reaping. It's growing in intensity, in, in 
intensity hmm, of God. And then the etymology of that word comes from 2330. Hang on a minute. I don't have that word written down. 2330 in the sense of the crop. And that's theros. This word. Strong's G 2330. Theros. Mm -hmm. Theros. That, 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 that's uh, meaning the, the summer. And it's from a primary word, primary word, T-H-E-R-O, thero, and it means to heat. God's heating it up so he can chop it out, skim it out for you. And bring you to this greater, greater, greater level so he can, you can read of his love, of his ability to love, to be able to, like, just adore him, to reverence him, to come into his righteousness, to his way of loving, to a greater and greater and greater, more dense, more glorious, more uh, streets of gold. I shall come forth as pure gold, purified gold. You're increasing. This thing is becoming more and more and more pure gold, and less and less and less of that ego thinking. The edging got out, that black stuff. See, when you get gold out of the, when they mine gold out of the earth, in the natural, huh? It's not purified gold yet, is it? It's golden ore. All kinds of other impurities in there. Dirt and other kinds of metals and stuff. That stuff has to be like picked and through and stuff. And then it has to be like in a refiner's pot. Heated up to different levels of heat. So that that stuff will melt out in this refiner's pot. At different temperatures, different impurities melt out of that gold. And it comes to the top like as dross, as like scum. Ooh, yuck. Not so that you like in your thinking, it's like in your mind, so that through all this intense stuff, man, you're just a dirty, rotten, you yuck of yourself. Like Job's friends telling him, man, you shoulda, 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 woulda, 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 coulda, coulda, hindsight is 2020. Like all this stuff. But in like Job 23.10, he said, God has tested me. I shall come forth as pure, purified gold. Not going your guys' jackass way. Huh? You're out here condemning. You're not E.N. Christ, are you? Right? Not being like those ones looking outside, trying outside that fiery furnace, trying to look in there and catch a peek of, see if they're dead or not. It's uh, Jacob, uh, not Jacob, Shadrach, Meshach, uh, Abednego in there. Man, what's going on in there? And they saw four in there. And they <laughs> burned them up. Burned the ones looking in up, trying to catch a snake of them in their sins and trespasses. And they're, what did they wrong? What are you, huh? Killed them. And Jake, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, speaking of your three ages in your earthly experience, when they were Jesus, with, uh, with God, so, man, we had a party in here. This stuff is great. Huh? Because they're living in Christ. Staying in it, staying in it, staying in it. Exist, exist, exist. Make a stand in Christ. Not standing in that poop. Not standing in the outhouse in the cesspool of their own outhouse. Condemning and slinging feces at each other. Being out on the playground. Man, I just would like to be out there playing and do my own thing. Or maybe kicking the snot out of somebody on the ground weaker than me. Or be down there on the bottom. Oh, why did you kick me when I was down? Oh, oh, oh. What was me? What was me? Right, pain, grief, and suffering. Oh, well, well, well. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of nonsense. You're not paying a, a lick of attention. You're distracted. Dis being disunified from God. You're like this chafe. Oh, yuck, you're like the weeds and stuff. In the harvest time, it's going to be sifted. Separated. Weeds. One's come in there and come up to the front of class and demonstrating the way, the truth, and the life. Doing it God's way. Y'all way of salvation. Following Jesus. 
is pointing the way to the Father. Yahweh is salvation. The Father and I are one. We're unified. Huh? He's the firstborn among many brethren. Come back. Be reasonable. Shoot my way. Come this way. Don't go out there and play on that playground. Stop that stuff, you silly rabbit. All that stuff is tricking you. That tricks is for the less in keeping you immature. It's a it's like quicksand. A bullshit thinking. Sink down in it. Deeper and deeper. You're down in the house of your own car mine. Come on, man. Quit slinging that feces. Get all that stuff. That good, bad, and ugly stuff. It's all cute. Bullshit. Filthy, mister sticking rags. It's the heart of man. It's desperately wicked and evil about all things. Ooh, who can know it? That tree of knowledge of good and evil. Ooh, yuck. I count it all as dung for winning cries. Ooh, yuck. Don't you know that God causes all things to work together for good to them that love God to those who are the called according to his purpose? For him he did foreknow, he did predestinate, conformed to the image, exact representation, the likeness of his son, his mature son, that he be firstborn, that he exist firstborn among many brothers. He's coming back, you're being, you're living, existing in Christ. I can do all things in Christ, not through. Huh? Wow, 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 wow! Tying a little bit of it together. Show you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God's righteousness. God's right mindedness. And he. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all this other stuff will be added to you. God will provide for you. Come on, man. However he wants to provide if someone gives you stuff, whatever. It'll just come up. It'll happen. No begging, no pledge drives, no oh, bull crap. No trying to sell stuff. What about what, Jesus? Then he go into the temple, that man-made temple, and made a whip. Made a whip. And drove those ones out in there, trying to sell them, to make it a, a, a place of harlotry. Huh? When they're driving it out, that's represented in your mind. You gotta drive out that bullshit thinking. I'm trying to sell God's stuff. Huh? I'm not prostituting that gospel. But I could use some help naturally. At least I could. But no way am I going to go against God. Big, 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 big. No, 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 no. God will provide. Alright. Now. So, let me reread this first. That was the, that was that whole verse. Now, how many, uh, I don't even know how many, um, spiritual toolboxes, how many of these videos I've done concerning with just this one verse, and these other things had to take you to, I recorded something and there was not something right, and I had to, God had to take me other places, I had to give it to you, huh, freely I have received from God. Freely I give to you. Not charge you. Forty nine ninety five. Uh uh. If you give me this, man, you don't have to leave with your old down in your septic in your sewer system of your own outhouse and have sex with that old carnal stinking muddy poopy thinking. <laughs> no, no, no. You're prostituting the gospel, doing that. Oh my goodness. People's trying to justify they're just a lie to themselves. Well, I gotta get my money back. No. God's your provider. He's your proficiency. Huh? Well, we need some more stained glass windows, because you know that's where the glory of God is. But no, that's bullshit. I gotta have a new airplane. <laughs> no. Huh? I gotta pay for this great big church. Bill.
Bristol with this big arbalist, this big staple on it, is higher than everybody else's because I get to be ours as number one. Now that's, that's again calm, chop. Red meat as a main place is okay. But just other stuff, it's just pride, arrogance. It's a bunch of junk. Huh? Narrow, a broad is the way of destruction, and many are that'll be that way. Narrow or narrowing is a path to life. A few are that'll find it. I'm giving you some stuff here so you can find it. If it's worth something to you, please help me. Help me drive out that Goliath thinking in your mind. That's what this stuff, these spiritual toolboxes are help to help you kick that giant's ass in your mind. That donkey thinking, kick its ass out and occupy it in its place. Huh? I love you. I love the Christ in you. I want to help get this stuff out. But only you can do it yourself. Huh? Don't partake in all that. You sow to that fleshly thinking you're going to reap corruption. Corruption. And distraction. And yeah, more poopy thinking. You're going to sink in that big old cesspool. Of your own calm mind. Oh man. Thinking I'm living it up. <laughs> Something in this stuff. Like sup, to have their dinner, their meal. <laughs> oh, man, you're worse than a hog. I don't even know if a hog would eat that stuff. It might, but oh my goodness, oh, it'd make me sick to just even thinking about that. But if it, that's what, you got to vomit it, spew that stuff out. Make your, it, man, look how nasty that is. That's your own righteousness. Your own good and evil. Man, that's awful. Do you want that stuff in your mouth? Do you want to partake to eat that stuff? No, I hope not. You can't get back to God doing that. The God's righteousness. It's just all stupid stuff. How dumb are you? Wake up, you sleepers. Right? Is that what God's saying to you? Come on, man. To be calm reminded is death. Separation from God. Man, you're down in there. You're like a bat. You're eating that stuff. What the? What's the wrong with you? If you saw somebody natural down in an outhouse, man, just, man, this is the greatest stuff. And they're, they're down in there sinking. It's up to their knees. It's up to their, up on their thighs. It's up on their hip, man. They're just a towel down, wiping it all over your foot. Man, this stuff is, you can use that forever stuff, man. You wash your hands. Oh, 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 oh. Breathe it. Lord, look at this, man. I'm like an ostrich. I stick my head down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll make myself get sick. Uh -huh. It's okay. Carry it on. About, uh, I mean, that stuff is just atrocious. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Do you realize I'm sticking that stuff in my mouth? Oh, help me, daddy. And you're crying out to God. Like at once, whatever I was trying to get from my door to the, uh, uh, from my bathroom door, I was fell, fell on the ground and I was throwing up all over myself and I couldn't even roll over. And I was dragging myself trying to get to my dad, my earthly dad, outside the door of my laundry room there trying to get in the house because it locked the door. And I couldn't even get up on my knees. I was pulled. It took me like a half hour. I passed out several times. On my stomach, just vomiting all. I vomited all the way down through the pathway. And they called an ambulance. They came and got me. I couldn't even roll over. If I was laying on my back, I probably would have drowned in my own vomit. But I was crying out, Daddy, help me. I wasn't crying out to my earthly daddy. They might have thought that. I was crying out to Father God. Huh? Let's cry out to Father God. 
Let's go to him. Turn from this stuff. Oh, God, let me, let me go. Oh, God. <laughs> he's offering away truth and life in these storms. Can't rely on no doctors or nothing else. They couldn't even, they, they diagnosed some crap and went to a specialist. Wasn't the right thing. <laughs> it wasn't, they wasn't supposed to be delivered by them. God has to do the delivering. Huh? So I gotta exist, exist, exist in Christ. To fulfill him what he told me. Way back here when I, right before I went into the thing when they had me in the, man, that bunch of ice is not, my brain, brain was like baking under all the infections and all, all throughout my body, the staph infection. I think my brain was about to bake. They were saying, he's going to die, there ain't nothing else we can do. I mean, I was like freezing to death, but I was baking. Huh? God said, don't worry about it. You won't. You'll, you'll, I'll do great things. I'll, I'll do great things for you and in you. Hit that, all that new wine. I mean, there's a lot. I can't tell you all of it here. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm exposing some of it now as God brings it. It took about 30, a little over 30 years for all this to...